Hi there. Kids, I think I can call you kids, can I? Yeah. My name is Greg Fleet, and I'm a writer. I write books. Um, I wrote a book called The Good Son, and it's for grown-ups, but I like kids' books the best. And this is my favourite kids' book. It's Harry the Dirty Dog, and it's by Jean Zion, and the pictures are by Margaret Bloy Graham. Bloy, that's a funny middle name. Anyway, let's read the book. Harry, the dirty dog. I'm going to keep moving my head in and out. By the way, do you like my crazy hair? Crazy hair! Okay, Harry, the dirty dog by Jean Zion. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except having a bath. So one day when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush... And he buried it in the back garden. He buried the scrubbing brush. Naughty Harry. And then he ran away from home. Look at him go. He's running down the street. He ran away from home. He played where they were mending the street and he got very dirty. Look how dirty Harry's getting. Do you like getting dirty? I love getting dirty. He played by the railway and he got even dirtier. Can you even see him? Look how dirty he's got. He played with he played tag with other dogs and he became dirtier still. Look at him coming out of there. He looks totally different. He slid down a coal chute and he got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from being a white dog with black spots to being a black dog with white spots. Have a look at Harry. You can hardly tell that it's him. Although there were so many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too, so without stopping, he ran all the way back home. There he goes. And look, he's running past his family while they eat dinner. He's running home and he's wondering if they'll remember him. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and he sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, there's a strange dog in the back garden. Oh, by the way, has anyone seen Harry? They don't even recognise that it's him. So when Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them all that he was Harry. He started to do all his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped and he flop-flipped. He rolled over. He played dead. He did all of his tricks. He danced and he sang. Does your dog sing sometimes? Mine does. He did all these tricks over and over, but everyone shook their heads and said, Oh, no. No, no, no. That couldn't be Harry. No. Harry gave up. He walked slowly toward the gate. Poor Harry. But he suddenly stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and he started to dig furiously. And soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. What's he found? What's in the hole, do you think? He's very happy. He found... The scrubbing brush. In carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. He ran up the stairs. He dashed up the stairs with the family following close behind. Look, the kids are chasing after him going, who's that strange dog in our house? He jumped into the bath and sat up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth. A trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl. And her father said, why don't you and your brother give him a bath? Look at him, Harry wanting a bath. That doesn't happen very much. Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mummy, Daddy, look, come quickly. It's Harry, the kids all cried. Harry wagged his tail and he was very, very happy. The family combed and brushed him lovingly and he became once again a white dog with black spots. 
It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favourite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden underneath his pillow. That was Harry. Harry the Dirty Dog. I like getting dirty. I bet you do too. Oh well, that was a great book and reading is a great thing to do. So read a lot. It's fun. Bye-bye.